Sub shooters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to Nispy Reviews where today we're checking out a track from an ex named Blacklight Hotel titled Echo. And if we switch over to here we have ourselves a track on the screen and we're going to listen through it from start to finish and we're going to hear what we think. It is a blank YouTube video because of course the video is right at the start. It is a lyric video but this is the band's uh, first single so I'm very excited and privileged to be able to listen to it. You know it's, it's dope. We're going to hear what we think. So if I look a little bit different now, it's because I had to go re-reboot the router because it couldn't load this video at 360p, so... <laughs> We're all sorted now, ladies and gents. Um, let's continue. I like the sound of that percussion. Oh, and there's guitars and drums as well? Are those delays on some of those hits there to kind of give them a bit of a tail to them? Great simple motif on the strings. I like the major lift in the harmony with the sinking. I think that's great. That melody there is uh, catchy, it's uh, intense, and the music resounds off of that. That vocal fry is phenomenal, dude. Woo! <laughs> you know, this is just a band who can really play. They don't sound like this is their first single. They sound like they've got a few under their belt. I like the way that the Passine pipe and vocals on the sides like the echoes around you, you know? Great use of space there. I like the structuring of the track, not rushing to that verse, you know? I like how they keep a similarity to the bass line in this bridge part. But they add the intensity of the vocal fry and those distorted guitar parts. The fry and distorted guitar parts, that heaviness there makes sense as a couple. Great clarity of the drums in the mix alongside the guitars on the side. So is this about being overwhelmed by the past and how it kind of comes back and kind of ricochets in your head? Those thoughts? Oh, that head voice is, is incredible. You can hear the, the, the mixing and recording is pretty solid as well because you can hear her just go off into the distance there. I'm not sure they faded that out with automation or not, but that was really well done. Great depth and dynamic range to the mix. I haven't really talked about the bass either. I like the octave switches they're doing here. It's a really full tone to it. Harmonizing on fourths with those guitar parts. Damn, dude. The confidence to just have a no vocal instrumental part like this as well, just to allow the, the back end to keep in there. And by back and I don't mean that the guitarists and bassists and drummers are lesser important than the vocalists. What I mean is in a lot of music I listen to and the, the rest is relegated to being behind the screen, you know, but I like bands where like every member has a point and a purpose in there and they have a great chemistry together. These Blacklight Hotel are dope and they're a great band. <laughs> I mean, I just watched them live, would be amazing, mate. I like those, uh, those octave chords we're getting as well in this, uh, chorus section. It's so haunting when she goes up to that range, eh? Hey? Wow, 
Wow, man. Is this the last review I'm doing this week? And it's stunning, dude. What a way to finish the week. Thank you so much. Dude, I legitimately think that's one of the catchiest, well-produced and well-performed tracks and well-written tracks I've heard throughout 2023. That's a hell of a single, man. That has reach across a wide variety of genres. I think it has a wider audience. I just want to listen through that verse first one more time just to make due diligence in the lyric section and we'll go to the conclusion. Because this is the conclusion to my review of Blacklight Hotel and their track Echo. I mean, what do I think this track is about? I think it's about someone who has gone through some pretty heavy trauma, some pretty heavy shit. And they're just in a point where they've realized, man, everything around me is just overwhelming me. I can't escape from the thoughts of my own head. The echoes there, the sounds, the feelings, the sights, etc. That they're just really struggling to find a place of a place of security and peace. Um, being brought down into it, you know. I'm sure there will be people that can relate to that, you know. Um, I obviously I, the, the the exact thing that caused it, unless I missed some fairly important, heavy sort of like context, uh, is reasonably vague within this. I think that's a really smart thing to do because if you make it too specific in a track like this, from like a cynical making a single perspective of the story in the audience, right? It, it kind of limits the audience a little bit. But I'm sure lots of people have a lot of different reasons to vibe but this will be able to relate to it so i think it's a great story and i think it's told well the vocals are tremendous the singer is clearly skilled clearly confident in her chest voice great vibrato legato techniques lovely with the harmonies as well great use of not only the clean vocals in there but also the vocal fry as well we got ourselves a triple threat we got ourselves a vocalist who this band needs to keep they really need to keep hold of this woman and not let that go because she's really good at what she does yeah, she sold the angst, the, the 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 feelings and emotions you typically expect from a story like that incredibly well, incredibly authentically, and I'm really proud of them for doing that. Especially on a first single, that's unheard of. That's that's where you know a band's going to be special because that if they can do that off the bat, they've got something really awesome going on. And I don't get that often with these reviews. I don't. I don't always hear that, and it makes me sad because that's what makes it. That's that, that authenticity and connection to the story alongside technique and competency with songwriting and performance is what makes a song great and what makes a performance great. That's why I think that'd be fantastic to listen to live. Um, but outside of that, I mean, like, this, the song itself at 3 minutes 30 is the perfect length for, like, a radio signal, you know. You've got, like, again, like, verse, bridge, chorus sections there. Uh, really sort of, like, solid motif behind it, back and with the interesting guitar parts there a bit of kind of gritty sort of overdrawn guitar with some more defined distorted parts in the bridge and like the octave chords in the chorus uh, i i like the bass guitar and how it was rolling between those root notes being fairly supportive and low key in the verse and kind of thumping it up in that and that hook section to add a bit more kind of intensity to it i like the drummer and how they were fairly sort of like uh, they had a great little motif at the start with some 16th notes i don't know if those were repeaters or just ghost notes that they were doing either way it sounded fantastic um, I like the fact that we didn't rely on the story coming in too quickly at the beginning. If I'm not mistaken, I think they had the drums at the start. Yeah, and then they had the guitar and bass coming afterwards. So I think that was a really smart way of introducing a song. It's very rare that you get the drums. Start a track with a dedicated beat. Sometimes you have one, two, three, four, a flam or something like that. But they had an actual groove instantiated there which encapsulates the fact that most people love rhythm and that's a really easy way to get someone engaged and it's a stylistic difference and a point of difference. And with so much music released nowadays, you need that even if it's in a groove, you know. I really did enjoy what was going on with the chemistry between the members there. I think that the relative simplicity and the lack of layering of additional part, instrumental parts on top of what they were performing allowed for a more, it being more easy to sort of like absorb what was going on and kind of feel that. So yeah, great job. Honestly, with the performance, there didn't seem to be a no out of place, and it was a very professional performance. Um, finally, the recording, mix, and mastering studio production is sensational. Honestly, like they they ticked all the boxes for me. The vocal recording was phenomenal. Um, captured a really fantastic performance there. The recording as well, the the phrasing, the like the cueing, filtering, or whatever, or a little bit of compression, the drum kit, etc., with the bass and the guitar parts and the staging of them in the frequency spectrum. 
as well as in the stereo field with how they were placed and panned i think that was wonderful dude uh, honestly, like, I'm going to be showing this to people after this review. I mean, this comes out, as I understand it, on the 30th of March. So by the time this comes out, it would have come out a few weeks prior. But but please do go show this band some love um, if you like their music. But I usually do that at the end of the conclusion section, so I'll keep going. Um, the leveling between the elements of the track was damn near flawless. I can't think of anything on top of my head that I disliked about it. You know, honestly, like, I, 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 I'm surprised these guys aren't already signed. And I'm, I don't say that stuff lightly either. You know, it, it doesn't make sense to, to just make stuff up. Genuinely, they're, they're really good. And hopefully they have fans who appreciate what they do. And hopefully they have more, make more fans, you know. But uh, yeah, the, there was dynamic range to this as well. As per like the vocals kind of soaring into the ether and then descending into the ether and like that interlude section in the middle part on the second, like, second third of it. Uh, finally, you know, it was nice and loud without pumping. You know, this is, this is my review of Blacklight Hotel and their track Echo. Hopefully you enjoy. If you did, please go check it out on the various social medias and their YouTube page. And stay cool and stay safe. And please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. As eat the hell more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I'll catch you in the next review. Spot hands up.